Hi and welcome. In this video, we're going to be finding the volume and surface area of each of these figures. Now, I apologize, these are just rough sketches of the figures, but here, this is a rectangular prism. And they label it here, and if you can't read it, I'll, I'll tell you. This is saying 4 inches, this says 4 inches, and this says 2 inches. What that means is that this number here indicates that this dimension, we can call it the width, is 4 inches. This 4 here represents this edge right here. So that means that the height is also 4 inches. And this number represents this dimension right here, which is length. So the, the height is 4 inches, the width is 4 inches, and the length is 2 inches. Now to find the volume, volume, we can think of it as the product of the height, width, and length. In other words, we can multiply these three numbers to find the volume. So let's do that in each of these. We'll find the volume by multiplying. Here we have 4 times 4 times 2, so the volume equals, well, 4 times 4 times 2, and that, of course, is 32. Now in units, you could say 32 cubic inches because we're measuring in inches, and what you're really finding is how many inch cubes would fit inside this cube. Like if you were to stuff it full of cubes, you're saying 32 of them would fit. So instead of saying inch cubes, since it's a lot to write, I might just write inch cubes like this, which means inch to the third power, that's a three. Okay, so that's that one. Here, let's change colors, let's move to orange, and multiply here. This time, the width, we could say, is 1.5, right, the height is 10, and here, the length is 4.5. So now, to multiply these three, we're multiplying 1.5, right, times 4.5 times 10 and here you can do the long multiplication or you might have some other technique but uh, when we do this of course you should get well, 1.5 times 1.5 times 10 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25 times 10 is 22.5 but you can work that out if you'd like here in the last one now we have a width of 6.8 right? a length of 6, and a height of 2.5. So the volume will equal 2.5, the height, and you can do this in any order. You don't need to start with the height, just like here I started with the width. Um, you can mix it around. Oops, I just realized a mistake. Sorry about that. Here, 1.5 times, it's times 4.5. I said times 1.5, so 1.5 times 4.5, that times 10, you should get 67.5, and then cubic inches. Here again, I'm sorry, the height is 2.5, the width is 6.8, and the length is 6, so we're multiplying for this volume 2.5 inches times 6.8 inches times 6 inches, and here we're going to get cubic inches again, so 2.5 times 6.8, right? That's which is 17 times 6, 102 cubic inches. So, and you could write cubic inches, but I'm going to write it like this: cubic inches. We're writing as inches to the third power. So we have this volume and this volume and this last volume. So, I mean, in, you know, when you're looking at this, maybe it surprises you that, that this one holds the most and that this one holds the least, just by looking at them. And that could be because my drawings are terrible, but you should think about the relationships between these volumes and the dimensions, right? I'll leave it to you to start thinking about that, and then let's make a prediction. What, what do you think will have the most surface area here? Um, and then let's test that by calculating it. Now, surface area is just the sum of the areas of the faces of a shape. So a face, you can think of right, the size if this is a cube. If this was a cube, each face would have a different number on it, like a piece of, like a dice, like if you're rolling a number cube. So there are six faces, and the surface area is just the sum of those faces. So here, let's, let's find the surface area of this shape, right? And unfortunately, in this shape right here, every, every shape, every face is a rectangle, and there's two of them. So like this front face will equal the rear face. This top face will equal the bottom, and the left and rear right faces will also equal each other. So I'm going to find the area of this front face. It's, it's 4 times 4 is 16. And there's two of them, one here in the front and then one in the back. 
So 16 times 2. Four more, four more faces to go. And then we're going to add, what? let's say, the top face right here. And that, that face is 4 by 2, right? You can see the, the width and the length. So that's a 4 by 2, and that's 8. And then there's two of those, so we're going to double that. 8 by 2, and that's, well, that's 16, but we'll add that later. And now there's two more faces to go. We've got the front and the back, the top and the bottom, and now we need the left and the right. Now the left and the right are also 4 by 2, right? The height is 4 and the length is 2. So that means 4 by 2 is 8, and there's two of those. Add all these up, we get 16, 16, and 32. So this surface area equals 16 plus 16 plus 32. And that is just, well, you can calculate this, right? 16 plus 16 is 32. Plus 32 is 64. And this time the, the units will be square inches, but you can write inches to the second power. And that's because you're just finding the number of squares that will fit on each face. So like this front face, for example, it would fit 16 actual squares. So it, overall, you'll find out how many inch squares cover the whole shape. Here, let's, let's see what happens to this surface area. Now in this case, you're dealing with 1.5. So if you have to do this mentally, I would suggest thinking of it as 3 or doubling it and then having all of your, your answers. So for example, for the front face right here, right, you could do 10 times 1.5 or think of it as 3 times 10 and then cut it in half. It gives you the same answer. I'll leave it to you to think about why, but, but 10 times 1.5 is nice, right? That's just 15. You can just move the decimal point. And there's a face here in the back with the same area, so we're going to double that. Okay, now the top face right here, well, that's just 1.5 times 4.5. And that one I'm going to plug into the calculator to save time and, and space here. 1.5 times 4.5 is 6.75. And we're going to double that because there are two faces with those dimensions, top and bottom. The right face right here that has a height of 10, right, and a length of 4.5. Now, 10 times 4.5 is nice because the decimal point will move once to the right, and that's just 45. And there are two of these faces. So now we want to add up all this. We have 30, right, plus, well, 6 times 2 is 12. Um, 0.75 times 2 is 1.5. So that's 13.5, right? 6.75 times 2 is 13.5. And then we're adding 90, because 45 times 2 is 90. Add these up, and we get, well, 90 and 30 is 120, plus 13 is 133, plus 0.5, 133.5. And that's square inches. So here we have our next surface area. And just notice, I mean, look how much larger this surface area of this shape is than the other one, even though the volume... Um, well, the volume is double, actually the surface area is double as well, pretty much, um, which is a nice and interesting relationship. Look at that. The volume here, 32, surface area, 64. Volume here, 67.5, right? And here, the surface area, basically, almost double. That's interesting. I'll, we, might, we might come back to that one. But let's keep going and find one last surface area. Here, this front face and the rear face are the same, right in the back. And those are both 6.8 by 2.5. So our first, our first phase combination is 6.8 times 2.5, which I'm going to, you can do the long division for that one. But if I plug in the calculator here, I get 6.8 times 2.5, and that's just 17. Right? And there's two faces, so we double that. And now the right face over here, well, that's 2.5 by, by 6. And that's just like two and a half times six, which is just 15. And there are two of those faces, so 15 times two. And then there's one last combination, the top here and the bottom. Those are the same. Those are 6.8 by six. So 6.8 times six, sorry, 40.8, right? And then we're going to double that as well. So 40.8 times two. And now I want to add up all these surface areas. So we get 34 plus 30 plus, well, this is just 91.6, right? 40, oh, 81.6, sorry. Right, 34, oops, 34 plus 30 
plus 81.6, right? Because 40.8 times 2 is, yeah. So here we add this up, we get 64 plus 81.6, and that's our surface area. Add these two up, 64 plus 81.6, and we get 145.6. And that's square inches. So, I mean, aside from just purely calculating here, and this is a, a routine or practice problem with lots of arithmetic in here, but, you know, notice that the surface area is not always double the volume. It only happened in the first case here that, that the surface area of 64 was double 32. Here it was almost double, right? 67.5 times 2, what's that, 120, 134, 135, and we have 133.5, close. But here, the surface area is 145.6, but the volume is 102. So in a sense, this shape is the most efficient, right? Because it held the most, and the surface area, although the surface area was the highest, it wasn't even close to double the volume. And maybe I'll leave it to you to think about what, what makes this shape more efficient than this one. And here, um, this shape is also ex extremely efficient, but, but it's still takes double the surface area to hold the volume that it has, and you might think about why that is. You know, how was it that this worked out to be the most efficient? So I hope this gets you started on, on some of the fun investigations you can have with volume and surface area. Thanks.